Hey everybody, we're, we're at Okie Data right now and we're gonna do the tailgate of Motors F-150. Uh, I'm gonna show you how we use the master heat gun and the master heat gun is an IR gun, heat gun all in one. Nice thing with this is that I always know exactly what my temperature is that I'm imparting to the surface. So it's always telling me, for me not to exceed, it'll actually shut it off. So, so for those of you that are new, you may wanna use something like this, especially if you're dealing with uh, textured wraps or things like that, uh, matte finishes, satin finishes, so that you don't gloss it up. But at the end of the day, whenever we're doing indentations, like we're gonna do where behind the Ford emblem and that kind of thing, is um, you can control your temperature. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and put some heat on this. As you can see, I've defined the edge, the tailgate's down and the edge is defined, but that's not down inside of there yet. So this material will still move. So when I go to, and as you can see, is you'll see the, you'll see the, you see the little uh, laser there. So I'm gonna go around this outside and I got this set at 180 degrees. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and heat that up nice and neat. You guys can see that temperature go up. So it's at about 156 degrees right now. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure my glove is a little wet and I'm just gonna slowly work my finger down and inside of that and do this side here, compressing the material down. Now what I've got is I got a little pocket of air that I was hoping would have found, see this little hole right here? I was hoping that it would have found this little hole. A lot of times, a lot of times it will just go ahead and find its way right up into those holes. But obviously the Ford emblem is going to go back over this. But, you know, when in doubt, make a hole, man. At least it's, you've made a hole where you can't see it, which would be underneath the emblem. But the point is, is when you utilize this heat, like I got a little blemish right here. Okay, then we're gonna move up to this area here. Now, obviously, there's a hole right there. So I'll just grab this a little bit, take it out away. Rather than just push this, push this all in, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up. And this will, I'm gonna take off all, there won't be any pressure on this outer. Again, you can see where my, see my guide with my laser. See how the material's moving? That's that heat blowing up against it. It's softening the material. It's telling you that it's getting warm, okay? So that should be about enough. Whenever I have a rectangle like this, I always do the corners first. Do the corner, do the corner, do the corner, do the corner. Then you can just work your way down and across. Down and across. And you got a nice bonded up, virtually cured edge right there. And it won't lift back up on you. So at the end of the day, when in doubt, uh, use the right tool for the job. Uh, Master makes a great one. Obviously there's a lot of heat guns out there, but you get what you pay for. So at the end of the day, uh, all of my stuff is down. I'm gonna po go ahead and post heat the rest of this, open the tailgate and finish the edges. So anyway, hey, thanks for hanging out with us at Oki today and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you.